and welcome to the PW Garden Show. In today's episode, we're going to be testing two lawn mowers. Every garden is different. Some people like the stripes, other people like just a quick rough cut. They don't care as long as their grass is cut. Others like their lawns to look defined, stripy and perfect. So what we're going to do today is we're going to compare two lawn mowers, two very different lawn mowers. The hater with the roller that puts a lovely defined stripe versus the rough cut mower with four wheels. The hater is a little bit more, it's actually about 800 pounds in comparison to the 400 pounds of the steel. However, we're gonna test both mowers and see which one we think is best. So let's have a closer look at both of these beautiful lawn mowers. Actually, first of all, we're gonna start off with the steel. Now, this one is cheaper of the two and it is a rough cut mower, therefore it won't put stripes down. But if you're just somebody who wants your lawn cut and you don't really care what it looks like, then this could be the mower for you. It's got a nice, easy height adjuster on the back there and a nice plastic box, which does actually store quite a bit of grass. Sadly, this mower is not self-propelled, but it is a very lightweight mower, therefore that isn't such a big drama. On to the hater, and what can you say? We all know about haters, very good, very strong, very reliable. Even the Queen recommends them. So this particular model is the GTS. I did feature it in my first video on this channel. And yes, as I say, it's a perfect mower if you want stripes in your lawn. Now there is a patch over here which I haven't done yet, so I'm just gonna show you with the hater what it does, and then we're gonna go around the front and test out the steel. So as you can see, the hater does leave a very nice stripy finish. So if this is the sort of thing that you want in your garden, then I'd highly recommend going for the hater. But we're gonna be fair, we're gonna test the, uh, the steel as well. So we're gonna take that into my front garden now, and we're just gonna whiz over the front and see how that cuts. And then we can decide whether you prefer the rough cut look or the stripy look. Now, as you can see, this grass has now been cut by the steel, but it doesn't leave the stripey effect. You can kind of see what resembles like stripes, but it's not, this is just a rough cut. So it's down to you as an individual. Do you prefer the rough cut look and just want your grass cut, or do you want the nice stripey effect? It's a very good mower, it cuts well, but it won't give you that desired look. If you just want a rough cut and you just want your grass cut, you don't care what it looks like, then this mower will 100% be the one for you two very different petrol mowers. We have the rough cut steel versus the stripy stripy hater. Which one do you prefer? Me personally, from a professional gardener's point of view, I think the hater's better. It leaves a nice defined stripy finish and the customers are guaranteed to be happy every single time. 
But if you're doing it for yourself and you've got your own little garden and you just want your grass cut and you don't care about stripes, then the steel is also a very good mower. It's down to you at the end of the day, but for me, it's got to be the hater. If you are new here to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, then please do simply smash that subscribe button, drop a like on the video and come and join us on our gardening adventures. We'll see you real soon for the next one. Bye bye.